The national vaping crisis is hitting home. A Virginia Beach native is just one of the hundreds of patients dealing with the effects of smoking vitamin E. 13 is now reporter Adriana de Alba spoke with her this afternoon and shares her message tonight. These pictures of 21 year old Brooke Zimmerly show the terrifying moments she went through last week, hospitalized with machines helping her breathe and hooked to IVs eventually in the ICU for five days. Doctors told her she suffered a vaping related lung injury. I mean, I just had every symptom. I had the vomiting, the, the cloudy lungs. Have you ever been that sick in your life? No, never. Doctors told Zimmerly that chemicals from THC like vitamin E acetate cause the lung injury. These are her chest x-rays, the one on the left from her first visit to the hospital, and the one on the right shows a much hazier picture after just a few days, something doctors told her is not normal. It, it really looked like someone photoshopped clouds in replacement of my lungs. This month, the Centers for Disease Control identified vitamin E acetate as the possible culprit in the recent string of vaping related illnesses and deaths. The JMU student could have been one of them. When I was in the ICU, my mom told me today they told her to go ahead and maybe talk to a chaplain because they just they didn't know if I was going to make it or not. It was really hard because I couldn't see my son for a week and that was the hardest thing is like not knowing if I was going to come home to see my son. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Doctors expect her to make a full recovery. Now she's sharing her story with friends on social media, hoping her experience will encourage others to stop vaping. Two weeks ago, you, I saw this all in the news and you couldn't convince me to put down my jewel. I should have listened because it's crazy. Now, grateful to be alive, every breath she takes is a blessing. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.